So now that we've taken the first step, we have to prepare ourselves for the second step. And the second step is actually where things usually tend to go wrong. Most people can find a positive intention which they really support with all their being, with all their heart. But the second step is about discipline and sacrifice. Many people, when they think about something nice, something positive, they're not thinking about the price they need to pay to get it. So in this case, we're looking at money. And the thought I'm having with my first intention is just that something will be added to my life. Things will increase, things will grow. But this is not the reality. We have a limited amount of energy. We have a limited size of energy body. We have a limited amount of time. We have a limited amount of attention we can spend on things. And ultimately, to achieve any goal, we need to make space for it. If I am not opening myself up to the opportunity of money coming to me, if I'm not working, gambling, buying lottery tickets, uh, starting businesses, or doing anything else which could lead to this money coming to me, it won't happen. So, for anything we want to invite into our lives, we have to make room. And this may, means that we have to give up our energy, we have to give up our time, we have to give up our attention, we have to sacrifice other things in our lives to be able to receive and to be able also to support a movement. Usually anything in our lives won't just materialize magically. No, it is a journey. And the journey requires discipline. You cannot waver from the path, you cannot get distracted if you're, for instance, building a business. You can't just say like, gosh, I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit fed up with it. I'm going to go on a holiday for like three months. No, your business will die if you do that. So you have to be willing to pay the price to get what you want. So in this case, we're talking about having more finances but what will it cost me so try to meditate a little bit on that and feel into it one of the things I feel is that it will make me think in a very different way in a colder way in a harsher way not so much loving happy-go-lucky money is serious business to me and it will pull me into a kind of a lower mood, into a lower vibration. If I have to think about it, if I have to work for it, it will make me tougher. That's a sacrifice I will have to be willing to make. Also, I don't enjoy spending time on money. I don't spend, enjoy counting money, looking at bills doing calculations, doing administration, filling out tax forms. It's actually rather distasteful to me. So this is another sacrifice I'm, as of yet, unwilling to make to get closer to my goal. And it's okay. You can also decide, like, geez, it's the price is too high. It's actually not something I should be trying to get and you can also say like okay forget all about it that's fine nobody's forcing you but if you're really set on achieving your goal this is a phase you'll have to go through you'll have to be able to say to yourself like okay for the next how much time will it be five years ten years fifteen I'm willing to set aside time, energy, effort, to go down into these lower worlds, to do this administration, to think about the money, to worry about the money, to work, because the money tells me I should do things, not that I want to do things. 
that you will have to obey in a way to your path to the path you're making for yourself to the karmic route you're setting for yourself and feel if you are indeed truly ready for that to make these sacrifices and to stick with it to commit yourself to give up parts of your life part of your time for this, these things to come into your life and if you feel that you can do that you're willing to do that try it out, do it now feel if it is still a positive thing a worthwhile thing for you to go towards that goal and if you feel that you're ready for it take the next step forward and now that you're here you can feel the price you have to pay to achieve your goal it's not all positive, it's not a free lunch it's no such thing but if you're willing to do what it takes Maybe you can make your dreams and your miracles come true.